Hey, I'm John, and today I'm gonna make three delicious cocktails, and these cocktails are really nice. They'll impress your friends, impress everyone you have over. They're really simple, and we'll go through all the steps. So number one, we have our beloved espresso martini. Now, these are easy to make, easy to stuff up, but there's a few tips and tricks I have to make a nice, balanced flavor, very, very tasty espresso martini. And the thing is about the espresso martini is that you can actually make it with many, many different ways. And for example, I like to make mine with vanilla vodka instead of just plain vodka to add an extra depth of flavor. The second drink I'm gonna make for you today is a French martini, which is basically a raspberry liqueur with pineapple juice and again, vanilla vodka. And it's just the most amazing flavor. Last but not least is an amaretto sour, which is a little bit more complicated, but it is still very easy and I promise you, you'll love it and it's delicious. So let's dive straight into it. To make the perfect espresso martini, you need to start with some good coffee. You need one shot of 30 mils of coffee per cocktail. In a cocktail shaker, fill one third with ice, add one shot of vanilla vodka, one shot of Kahlua, and one shot of your coffee. Shake vigorously for about 20 seconds, strain, and pour into your martini glass. Shaking the coffee well creates a delicious foamy layer on top. I then like to garnish my espresso martini with three coffee beans. So feel free to use normal vodka if you don't have vanilla, but I find it creates a greater depth of flavor. You could also try adding some spiced rum instead of vodka. That's a really tasty option too. Now onto my favorite, the French martini. Fill a shaker a third full of ice, then add 15 mils of Chambord, which is a delicious deep raspberry flavored liqueur. Now add your 30 mils of vanilla vodka and 45 mils of a good quality pineapple juice. Shake for about 20 seconds and you'll be rewarded with a beautiful foam from the pineapple juice on top of your drink. I like to garnish my French martinis with some fresh raspberries. Now on to the amaretto sour. The method is slightly different here. Since it's a sour, we need to use egg whites to create that luxurious foam on top. And since egg whites foam so easily, we need to dry shake the cocktail first, which means we don't add ice till the end. To make the amaretto sour, pour your egg white into an empty cocktail shaker. Then add 45 mils of amaretto, which is an Italian almond liqueur. Now to balance the amaretto, add 15 mils of bourbon whiskey, 30 mils of fresh lemon juice, 15 mils of sugar syrup, and optionally, a dash of bitters. Shake well for about 10 seconds without ice. You should fill the egg whites foam up inside the shaker. Now add your ice and shake for a few seconds, then pour and strain into a whiskey tumbler with ice. I like to top my amaretto sours with thinly sliced lemon peel on a small skewer, but optionally you could top it with a glass side cherry. I just don't like glass side cherries. If you really don't like the idea of raw egg, you don't have to use it, but you won't be rewarded with such luscious foam. So here we go, we have our three cocktails made, looking amazing. I can't wait to dive in and get into it, and it's pretty funny. I was gonna make this five cocktails, but I thought, I'm gonna to have to drink all these cocktails tonight. And it is a Monday night, so I don't wanna to get too drunk. But they're amazing. I really hope you guys give them a go and let me know down in the comments if there's any cocktails you're gonna make or if you make these and how you go with them and any other ideas that you have. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.